Here's what to expect when you run the code in this LabVIEW project. I'll ask you to pause the video here for a moment and establish these two wire connections going from signal outputs on the MXP-B connector to the inputs on the A connector. Let's go ahead and open and run RT main. Our primary indicators of activity are the two LEDs. LED 0 will go through a state change every time it detects an interrupt event on the digital input, and LED 1 will change its state every time an analog input interrupt event is detected. For example, we can configure the digital input to look for a digital rising edge or a falling edge or either edge. Let's give that a try. You have to stop and restart the VI each time you change the configuration. Now every single time I change my signal, we see an edge detected. You can also adjust how many edges need to be detected before the interrupt is declared. All right, let's take a look at the analog version of this. We look for either analog rising or falling edge, and you can adjust the threshold voltage. Let's try changing this to a different threshold voltage of 3 volts. Now we need to send the voltage through that 3 volt value before we see any activity on LED 1. Let's also explore the hysteresis control. By default, it's a fairly small value of 0 0.02 volts. To get a better sense of what hysteresis is doing, let's change this to 1 volt. Well, the way this works is we have our 3 volt threshold, but just minor variations about that do not generate an in uh, an interrupt event. The analog voltage has to fall all the way below that hysteresis amount before a new interrupt event will be declared. Let's try going the other direction with an analog falling edge. In this case the hysteresis amount is a positive value above the threshold. So hysteresis in general is useful for reducing noise sensitivity for detecting events on the analog input. Take a quick look at the various sources for digital interrupts. At the moment, I've got this set up for button zero, looking for digital rising edges. And then you can select between these two inputs for detecting interrupts on analog inputs.